Hey yo everyone, we are here on the Terraria menu screen because today we are going to try and just completely destroy, corrupt, slash break my Terraria because I'm going to be uninstalling it, completely deleting everything and reinstalling it fresh, which may or may not have a T mod loader tutorial coming up with that reinstall. But yeah, the goal is to see how many mods we can install and play with, not just install because we can install every single mod on the mod browser and then not even press play on the game. It will be fine, but the goal is to see how many mods we could activate and play with at the same time now if we're being honest we could just go here and type in calamity boom right there that that will break our whole entire mod pack right there because you know calamities like that sometimes same thing with a couple other mods let's see if i have project logic still installed boom project logic i activate a piston from that mod boom game will crash but yeah we're gonna we're gonna try and do this we're gonna start with big mods first start with all the big mods or at least all the ones i know i'm obviously gonna miss some but yeah we're gonna start with big mods you know start with the ones like elements of woken calamity i don't know how to spell so since i have most of the big mods for terraria we're just gonna go through my mods list and just download them now tmod loader also has an update which is another reason why i'm gonna destroy my game so i can update to that current tmod loader version hoping that you know it's less buggy slash crashy because i've had the most crashes with terraria since like older tmod loader my terraria crashes all the damn time i don't know why i do play with tmod loader 64 which is a big version i believe so that might have a reason but the spirit mod if nobody updates the spirit mod i think this is the last time we're gonna see it because uh, i heard that this was broken for the latest team loader version so r.i.p my sweet prince you may sleep for eternity unless someone updates you obviously but yeah let's start with that one that's probably one of the biggest ones or that is a big one i wouldn't really consider the juice mod big we're going for big boys we're talking about beginning to end boys right here we got elements awoken we got calamity those are big boys story i'm a big boy right there or big girl or big whatever you want to be calamity of course the actual calamity not just the music shoot the music alone could probably crash our game uh g realm decently big activate that inches awaken of course very big shadows of abaddon yes i feel like there's some that we're missing we're definitely missing some big mods oh here we go qwerty's mod redemption split mod uh you might see some mods in here that might become future videos that i just never have done yet <laughs> so spoiler alert pinky mod is pretty decently sized but yeah that's it for that the ones that are just chilling in my uh, mods list we are obviously missing a couple like anti Eris and stuff like that so let's let's try getting those right now let's start with uh anti Eris, decently sized mod boom we're gonna have to download the mod that i will not mention but you know we have to download it it is a very big mod not a very great one a very big one all right so we got this one right here echoes of the ancients this is a pretty decently sized mod the thing is there's a lot of pretty decently sized mods so uh, i think i'm probably gonna miss a bunch for example i'm gonna miss a lot that i have no idea are decently sized mods i know there's a lot of underrated mods and i do plan to do a series covering most of those underrated mods like is terraria overhaul i feel like if i install terraria overhaul that's just gonna crash because that i feel like that does not go along with anything but in terms of you know big mods that i know i feel like we have a majority of them but let me cycle through here like this mod looks like a big mod arche all right so these are the enable mods that i have here like i said i'm gonna miss a couple of the big ones uh because i just don't know them i just went down the list and i found like four of them and when i hit more info they said a bunch of things so i went all right that's a big mod but yeah these are the ones that i have chosen we're gonna do our first you know in-game loading up and we're gonna just hope and pray that it works because i feel like we're not even gonna be able to load it to a world we're now generating a world and let's just put our fingers and our hands together i don't know what that means let's just cross our fingers and hope that this somehow gets through that bar gets from this side to the other side without the game crashing without the game freezing without the game dying without my computer exploding either one of those things not happening would be very great all right so i've let this sit here for like 20 30 minutes you know while i went and ate something and uh you know it's been stuck on generating runes for a while now uh whatever mod adds in runes it's already broken the game it finally happened i got it to load there was one specific mod i had to disable all right i'm not gonna say what mod but i'll type it okay I know it's insane that I had to disable that mod, but look at this. We start with so many things in our inventory. We start with a stone pick, a stone ax, and a stone hammer, and a stone knife. I don't know what kind of knife you swing like this. It's kind of weird that it's not a short sword, but yeah, that's that's a good bit of mods we have installed. I forgot I don't have cheat sheet enabled, so I can't even look. But uh, right off the bat, you can see that there's a couple of things we can already get. So now that we got our sort of set of big mods, I think it's time that we did smaller mods. That's the next goal: is smaller mods 
mods then we'll go to quality of life and then we'll just i don't know really really small mods i'm talking about the ones that don't even have descriptions so i enabled a bunch of mods yet again i don't even know what mods i enabled the quote unquote smaller mods uh i just kind of chose some some of these are honestly quality of life too whatever let's reload it and let's see if it actually loads so it actually finished loading very surprising you know my game froze for a little bit but uh you know it actually did work out so let's hop into a world all right i'm gonna be honest my game has crashed like six seven times trying to load a world uh it just straight crashes to desktop there's no like do you want to close this window or window is not responding it just crashes nothing pops up so i'm gonna try my best here to uh fingle and fangle i don't think those are words i'm gonna try my best to fingle and fangle around here and disable and enable some mods just know that i've been doing this for like an hour so i'm sitting here uh creating pyramids in the sand for a good like 10 minutes i mean these must be some big ass pyramids bro we are on minute 20 it might be more than that i don't know i was just watching a video but yeah i, I think i give up on this i i i don't know how to get out of it without just closing the game it's very upsetting because we're so close yet so far away all right so what i did was i enabled a mod pack that has a bunch of mods installed already so that we have a base to work with and the mod pack i used is usually the one i use for my one-off videos and we're gonna use that and then i enabled a bunch of the mods that we downloaded not all of them a bunch of them and we're just gonna see if we could just load up a world just like that please load please let's put please twice and all i could do is hope for the best i guess i'll record this whole time and uh let's just hope we can make it into the world i'm hoping to at least just make it into the world with this set of mods i have at least like eight maybe ten big mods enabled uh a lot so we're gonna see i don't have g realm enabled i know g realm is one of the mods that can be finicky here and there i know there was always a boss in g realm the last boss that always made me crash but this is where i usually crash is right here it gets stuck on like one of the last ones like this adding aquatic depths oh it didn't get stuck on that one. Oh, it actually loads Loaded. and i'm gonna have the screen zoomed in so you can't see any worlds you're not supposed to but boom bada bing we're going into the world <gasps> it actually loaded none of my items are here though yeah, apparently they were all fernium items but look at that we even have cheat sheet enabled uh, i disabled all of the music packs oh my god i can't even see the ui i disabled all the music packs because i know music is a lot of data isn't it like a lot of memory it uses up but look at this let's cycle through the mods which you see some of the big boys split is in here qwerties is in here that's two big boys right there mystic lands i don't even know what the hell mystic lands is it, that it has a really cool mod icon though in the browser but that's enabled that's another big one forgotten memories which is btfa i think is what it's called beyond the forgotten ages or is that a completely different name i don't know mods be changing names sometimes but that's another big mod right there the juice mod is like a medium sized mod elements awoken gigantic mod huge mod echoes of the ancients decently sized mod too cosmetic variety is a pretty big mod too it has a lot of of stuff in it consolaria medium sized mod assorted crazy things this is also a medium sized mod i saw this mod not too long ago and it looked really cool when i was like looking through a bunch of mods so uh cool mod i might use it in future playthroughs elemental unleash also medium sized mod mod of redemption i don't know i think the mod of redemption is a pretty large mod i haven't fully played through it spirit mod of course sacred tools also known as shadows of abaddon of course big mod thorium obviously we like i don't even need to say anything then we got calamity yes and then we got afk pets which is a pretty big mod which uh you know i thought it, it just added in pets apparently i'm wrong vampire mirror and then we got ancients awaken now this mod i have played through it is a pretty big mod and uh you know i like this mod a lot i think that's it yeah that's it the rest are all small or medium size that's that's a pretty big mod pack dude if we take a look at like the boss list let's just take a look at the boss list all right let me turn on god mode so i don't gotta worry about this look at the boss list this is let's take off uh mini bosses too mini bosses and events take off and let's just look at just bosses look at how long this list is oh my god oh my god you know how long that took there's at least like 50 60 bosses oh my god that's not including mini bosses that's not including event bosses that's probably not even including some bosses that are straight up just not on this list that's insane and the fact that i could run this you know obviously i i haven't done a full playthrough on a mod pack this big but i'm assuming this this might be unstable for being honest playing through it but at the same time if you can launch it and load it into your world then it probably is stable stable enough to be able to do stuff so uh i don't know i don't know should i keep going i guess we keep going but i think i'm gonna i'm gonna count how many mods we have enabled so we're at it like you know a record like this is definitely our record so far all right so here are the mods enabled let's count them together 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 
49 mods 49 and i was sitting over here thinking we could crack 100 easily i mean if we're being 100 percent honest we download all those like one or two item mods where people are like testing modding for the first time and adding in like very little items we could probably hit 100 no problem but we we want to go for decently sized mods we want to go for mods that have some meat to them no homo i don't know all right here we are i have enabled 60 mods i think four four or five big ones so uh let's see if we can do it this time i'm gonna hold on to the sun because that's my lucky charm is holding on to the sun and it's looking good you know it's flowing oh my god it actually went through all right boom bada bing we are in here with a new character so we get to see all the items this time and oh my god <laughs> spawn for the whole inventory what the heck code cube starter bag what the fuck what kind of starter bag is this yo i got a slingshot you better watch out i've noticed in all the worlds i've started so far that it is nighttime or not nighttime it's raining so pretty much nighttime because it's dark as hell but let's go ahead let's go through all 60 mods okay maybe not 60 but let's go through the new big ones that we added in starting with this one i have no idea which one this is it just says tpm <laughs> what mod is this i don't know what mod this is of course we got the tennis mod in here becoming my favorite small mod once the spread to get updated and once there's a little bit more content you know a uh, sports playthrough is coming all right we got this mod in here the metroid mod a really cool mod we got reb's mod in here a decently sized mod shout out to reb he's one of my boys in the discord we got this mod in here the illustrious mod i think that's how you say it i'm actually not sure this is also a decently sized mod we got fernium in here this is also a decently sized mod like the illustrious mod and i think this is the last big mod that i added in the archeon mod or archeon arcane on however you pronounce this it's got a decent amount of stuff but yeah we're doing good so far we're doing good you know we hit the 60 mod point so uh i guess it's time to go for 70 and beyond all right i am at the 70 mod area a lot of mods in here hopefully they're big enough i feel like i'm running out of big mods but let's do it 70 mods let's see if it loads i really hope it does i'm very very scared though i'm gonna leave this on and we're gonna montage this let's just hope it loads So by me crashing the game, okay, I didn't crash the game, but by the game crashing and it reloading, it reload all the mods perfectly fine. I think it reloaded all the mods from what I saw. It still had all the ones enabled. The hell? But uh, we're gonna try and load up a world and let's hope it works with all these mods. Okay, it's doing pretty well so far. We're already almost done with all the vanilla stuff, I'm assuming. Uh, I don't know. Oh, here we go. Grow garden. No. And we're getting to the modded stuff, I'm assuming, after generating structures, corruption pits. Ooh, it's not looking good, boys. It's not looking good. It looks like we might get stuck on this. Because this is a vanilla one. Oh, we got past it. Those must have been some big corruption pits. Uh oh, stuck on the planet toys? Stuck on the planet toys? Come on. See, I knew calamity would be the one in the end. <laughs> All right, so it's been a couple minutes here. It's still stuck on generating planetoids. So uh, I don't know. I'm gonna try and reload everything again, trying to make a new world again, but we might've hit our limit. I disabled two mods and it actually worked. I don't remember what mods I disabled, but I disabled them really good. I was like, disabled. <laughs> but yeah, it worked out. I don't know how we have a missing item. Oh, Ethereum. That must've been one of the mods I disabled. I think it was this mod, Ethereum, and then Ravel, I think was the name of the other mod. But uh, there you go. Those are disabled. So. Uh, I guess let's go through what decently sized mods I have. Here's one world of taste. Mmm, food. Uh, this is another mod that I enabled here. Oh man, this one's actually decently sized. The vitality mod. There's a good bit of stuff in here. There is a good bit of stuff. What the hell is that? Here's another mod that I enabled the Mo Spears mod, which adds in more spears. I know it's insane. Another mod I enabled here, the magical things mod. No idea what this does. It adds something called a flesh bomb. I'm interested. Oh, that's that's not too good of a bomb. Here's another mod that I added in the expanded centuries mod, which I did do a playthrough on this mod. So check out my second YouTube channel. It has all the videos. I did the first four episodes of the playthrough though on this channel, but the playlist can be found on my second channel. So check it out. Here's another mod, the Enigma mod. I just completely forgot to enable this on the first go, but now it's enabled. The Enigma mod is a really big mod and it is one of my favorite low key mods. Cause uh, you know, like I said, a lot of these mods don't have a lot of exposure. I will do a series 
series on that soon i think i said that in this video already too but yeah i think that might be it in terms of bigger mods because i feel like if i go any bigger in the mod size that the game just crashes because when i tried to get to that 70 mod area the game kept crashing i tried loading it multiple times then i just took out a couple of mods and boom 68 was the magic number i don't know you guys let me know if you could do better using the exact same mods that i have i bet i could do a lot better adding in like i said small mods but where's the fun in adding in a bunch of small mods i could hit like 400 mods that way but yeah looking like 68 is the limit and uh, i've been recording this video for like three four hours believe it or not this is legit because i started at around one or one or 12 30 around that time and it's now 4 30 so <laughs> you know i spent a little bit of time here one last thing though before we end off i do want to explore the world a little bit because i'm very interested to see what the world looks like with all these mods so let's start with this let's go ahead let's open up the entire map and let's just see if anything looks crazy this what is this <laughs> this might be the spirit mod the mini boss you can find there i'm not sure on that one because look there's a couple of them sprinkled throughout i don't know what this is this is a lab so this must be a uh, mod of redemption i think adds in the laboratory uh uh, ancients awaken adds in this no is this ancients awaken <laughs> i don't know ancients awaken is this right here and then this is elements awoken this is ancients awaken up here this is i think split oh man there's a lot of stuff uh the frozen pyramid over here it's calamity this right here is qwerties uh i don't know what this is this is so cool though this is so cool this is like playing minecraft with a bunch of like uh biome mods and terrain or not terrain ruin generating mods like dungeons and stuff like look at this look in the sky there's even like a new like island here in the sky we got this right here the spirit mod reach by him like what is this is this i think this is uh shadows of abaddon the spider nest calamity this is thorium right here there's so many cool things i love this ancient's awaken covering over a pyramid and then obviously we got the aquatic depths over here from thorium over here we got i think this is ancient's awaken and then over here is qwerty's wow this is really cool this is really cool as unstable as this is probably unstable it is very very cool to see all these like new areas to go to it feels like i'm playing terraria other world one last thing we're gonna check out the boss checklist again all right we're gonna take off mini bosses we're gonna take off event bosses we're gonna scroll through this again and just see if anything new is added in not like i could tell because there's like 70 bosses but oh my god it feels like i'm scrolling for like a year it's insane so not only we're we gonna check the boss checklist thing out we're gonna check the actual like the bosses on the uh, cheat sheet thing so close your eyes if you don't want to see spoilers i don't know they're kind of small anyway so it's kind of hard to see but look at this you can just scroll down this for forever oh Oh my god, there's some cool looking things on there. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, uh, uh. We're almost at 100k, so make sure to hit that sub button. And uh, you know, like I said, T Mod Loader 64 bit tutorial coming soon because obviously I gotta reinstall my game. So keep an eye out for that, and I'll see y'all next time.